I did a video about this guitar a few months ago, um, just to demonstrate the the new pickups that were in it really, and just to show off. I, I refinished this with uh, I bought some um, nitro spray, and I was quite pleased with the with the result. It's not perfect. I was I was I was hoping for perfect, but it was my first go, and I'm really pleased with what I got, and that kind of inspired me to do this. So this mandolin is a. Uh, the dates on the there's this um, there's a sticker underneath on, in there you can see, and there's a date on there. I think it's something like nineteen twenty two. I should have looked before I put the camera on. It's probably difficult to see in there. I was talking to somebody who I know quite well, who's who's a bit of an expert in guitars and and for, uh, rebuilding guitars and things. And I said, you know that. Yamaha that I refinished and he said yeah I said I, I was thinking of um, refinishing my mandolin in the same way he said what with I said with the uh, the nitro spray and he went whoa <laughs> and I said why he said you've got a mandolin there it's, it's an acoustic instrument what you want to do is French polish it so um, French polishing is, is a process of, of basically rubbing shellac a shellac finish into the instrument or into the wood I didn't finish off I think that neck is uh, Wenge and I didn't finish that off I, I feel it's, it's an absolute chunk of a neck it's thick and I, fi I refinished that, that part there with some shellac obviously I left the uh, the fingerboard alone if you look in there you can see that the the fingerboard is actually i don't know whether it's rotten away or it doesn't it's it's just it's it's starting to uh disintegrate especially in those first three frets under the under the d string so you get this you get this um you make a rubber which is basically a, a bit of a linen free linen free or cotton piece of um cloth some sort of like a like a handkerchief or something and you wrap it around something a little bit more substantial like um i don't know some some kind of wool or something um and you make a you make what's called a rubber and you gently impregnate the rubber with shellac just by dripping it on if you if you rub the shellac on you have to you have to rub in this kind of uh, like this in a circular motion. Um, if you just rub the shellac on, put the shellac in into the rubber, and just rub it on. It it won't go on. It's it's kind of a sticky substance. It's it's kind of some sort of uh, sugary discharge from a, what's called a lac beetle. Um, as you rub it on, it starts to stick. So you have to you have to lubricate the the rubber. Once you've impregnated it with with some shellac, um, you you rub on some um, some alcohol, methylated spirits or something like that. It just gives you gives you a um, gives you a bit of lubrication so that you can move the rubber around the wood. If you if you look, you can see a kind of flame finish in that in that. I think it's spruce. You see that flame finish. That was that wasn't visible before. And then I put the shellac in and it and it, and it kind of popped out, which is a nice bonus. And the reason for for that is you doing the French polishing thing, covering it with shellac, is is because you get a really thin, nice thin finish. Which allows the soundboard to continue to vibrate nice and freely. Uh, and I was advised that if you did that with 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 nitro, if you sprayed nitro on there, it would it would gum it up with a, a thick finish. And maybe take a little bit of the uh, oomph out of the, the. This thing's got some bite, some volume, so. 
I found it really difficult to get rub the shellac into these areas here. Was just giving me a little little bit of a problem. Just all of this would have finished really well. All this area, this gave me a problem. So you have to make a smaller rubber. Looks a bit fiddly. Um, it was no problem on the back and sides. Just rubbed on with no problem at all. Really pleased with that. You can really see that tiger stripe finish there. Fabulous. As I bought this on eBay a few years ago for uh, not very much money at all. 100 year old instrument. Really pleased with how it turned out. Okay. So that's the end of my video for today, folks. I'll see you next time.